judicial experience really exposes you to a lot of people who aren't telling the truth. Some of them aren't telling the whole truth and some of them are telling wholesale lies. Uh, and so you get a lot of experience. You kind of get trained uh, in how to piece that out. That comes in very handy when you're uh, doing historical research and somebody's a version of what happened just doesn't seem to quite add up. So the Germans sowed thousands and thousands of mines all across the areas of France where they were retreating. And one evening, uh, there was a patrol of which John Swainson was one of the point men, and the jeep that was part of that patrol ran over an anti-tank mine, and unfortunately the jeep was laden with munitions, among other things. It exploded and essentially destroyed his, both of his lower limbs. So John was convicted of a felony. And under Michigan law, he could no longer serve on the Supreme Court, and he had to resign. The state bar then went after his law license, and that was taken away. So John Swainson went from a person who every day of his adult life had gone to work, either helping people or trying to do justice and doing important work to having absolutely nothing to do and no salary. When I came upon that statement, after I had already begun researching this, but I wasn't quite sure whether it was going to be a magazine article or what it was going to be, uh, that's really when I have kind of made the personal commitment to write this book. Nobody else had written a biography of John Swainson, and as the years went by, it became less and less likely every, every passing year that anyone was going to write a biography of this man.